I can't be living off checks. Burn the sets when I'm stressed. EPE when I rap. In the ground shape when I step. Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns repping that EMZ Bitch TV. First things first, man. Make sure you smash that sub button, like, share, comment, all the above, all that good stuff. Now check it, check it, check it. So today we got an update on Takashi Six Nine. Um, word on the streets is that Takashi Six Nine has been hearing everything that's been going on with the rappers bashing him. You know what I'm saying? Just everything, everything. You know what I mean? And uh, 6 9 supposedly has said that all the rappers that are bashing him are basically the same rappers that didn't like him before he started snitching. And he's also he also said that everybody who's talking about him, they're talking about him because they want clout. They're talking about him because they want to sell records and blah, 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 blah. Basically, Takashi 6 9 it's saying the same thing that he was saying before he got locked up, which leads me to believe that when Takashi 69 gets out of jail, he's going to continue off where he left off at. He's going to continue with the trolling. He's going to continue inviting people to suck on something. And, yeah. And, he, and, and I think he might even reopen that Test My uh, Gangster World Tour, except that he's going to call it something else. You feel me? Because... I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, yo, I don't think this guy learned a single thing. Like, 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 because you got to think about it. What con what consequences have he really faced since he's been locked up? Okay, the only, okay, he's locked up, right? But, but, but think about it. He about to get out of jail, and he know he's going to get out of jail. So that, that year that he been locked up in, that, that's not, that's not a long, that's not a long enough time to, to have make 6ix9ine switch into making him humble. He's not humble. 6ix9ine is not going to come out on no humble stuff. He's going to come out, I think he's going to go right back into trolling. I really think so. I really think he's going to go right back into trolling just because of what he just said. You know what I mean? Oh, these rappers are just, they just want clout. They're using my name because they not hot no more. They know that I'm hot. They know that they got to mention me. Okay. But how about 50 Cent? How about your boy Anuel Double A? That guy from Puerto Rico. How about Fat Joe? How about, um, who else? Who else said they not rocking with 6 9 no more? A lot of people. How about them people? Them people were actually cool with you. They made songs with you. They made money together. They wasn't hating you before you went to jail. They don't want to mess with you no more. How about them? Are they doing it for clout? No. So, that's what I'm thinking. Like, I really think Takashi 69 is going to go is gonna go right back up to where he left off at. This is my opinion. I could be wrong. Maybe he might come out of jail and be on some real humble stuff. And might might even apologize, but I look. I'm sorry for what I did. I know it's wrong, but what would you do if you was me? Either he's gonna do that, or he's gonna do something like, "Oh, what you expect? These guys, blah blah blah, be on some, you know what I mean? Some tough stuff. Like he's the best in the world. Like what you expect? Blah blah blah. Like on some arrogant instead of being humble. It's either one of those two things is gonna happen." He's going to come out humble, or he's going to come out more arrogant than ever before. Which, to me, is leaning more to being more arrogant than ever before. Just think about it. Just think about it. What is Takashi 69 known for? He's known for what? He's known for beefing with the whole industry, right? He's known for making fun of rappers, right? That's his thing. That's his, his, mod, his what's the word? That's his, his motto. You know what I mean? That's his thing. That's that's what he do. That's what he do. So with that said, Takashi 69 is not going to change anything about him. I really don't think so. I don't think so. I could be wrong. But I don't think so. I don't think this... I, I, don't, I, think, I don't think that this experience humbled him at all. I feel like he had a re... I feel like that he feel like... He had a strong reason 
and a, a, not a storm, that he had a real good reason to do what he did. I feel like that's what he feel like. That he, I feel like that he think he didn't do nothing at all wrong. That what he did was only the right thing. And since he feel like he didn't do nothing wrong, why would he change anything about him when he gets out? If he feel like he never did nothing wrong. Mind you, when people change in life for, for bad to good, for the better, it's because, you know, they came to realize with themselves that they messed up. And they got to change. They got to do something different that they messed up. You know what I mean? They, um... You know, like, like, that they know they're wrong. They know that they are wrong. But Takashi don't feel like he, he did anything wrong, so he's not going to change. People that change is because they know, look, damn, I messed up in my past. You know, let me do this different this time. I swear I'm going to do this different. But in his eyes, he don't feel like he did nothing wrong. So why would he change? Even though, yeah, he got kidnapped and all of this. But he's not looking at it like that he got kidnapped because... Because he was trolling. He's looking at it like he got kidnapped because they were hating on him. You understand? Like this was going to happen regardless. Even if he trolled or not. So this is what leads me to believe that he's not going to change. You feel me? He, he, he's not going to change. You know? He, he, you, you, will have, you got to admit. You, you have to admit to yourself and to the world that, that, you, that you did wrong and that you messed up. And I don't, I don't feel like he feels like he messed up. So he's going to continue off where he left off at, trolling the world. And if he does that, his numbers are going to go up way more. It is what it is. This is not the 90s. This is this is a whole new era. This is a, this, We're in an era that nobody would have known that this would have been like this. A lot of people, oh, Takashi 9 career is over. It's over. Nobody's going to rock to his music. Fast forward, almost a year later. His name is still in the media. I'm reading the comments. It's not like I'm just talking out of my butt. You, I'm reading the comments. Like I'm looking at what people are actually saying. I'm like I'm looking. I'm really looking, and I'm noticing that eighty percent of the people in the media. I'm talking about as far as regular people, not not artists. I'm talking about regular people, civilians, whatever you want to call it. It's looking like a big percentage of them want six nine to to come back. And if I would say what number percentage, I would say 80% of the people in the world want Takashi back and 20% don't want him back. The 20% are who? The street people, you know, rappers that are street people. And let's be real, most of the world aren't street. Most of the world are not street. Most of the world are civilians, people that would have done the same thing that he would have done. Most of the world. Let's be real, most of the world. Come on, think about it. How many people would you have known, do you know, that they would have did what the 6 9 did in that situation? Probably most people. Most people would have done what he did. I, there's not too many people that would have taken 50 years for, for a crew that was robbing and stealing from you the whole time. And then y'all get jammed up. There's not too many people that would have taken 50 years just for a street code. Just for a street code. Like, I, I'm just going to follow the street code, man. Even though they were robbing me, extorting me, I'm still not going to say nothing. I'd rather just do my 50 years, blow my whole career, even though they robbed me. So what, I just got to take this L. Now, a lot of people would have done the same thing. A lot of people. Because most of the world are civilians. There's, there's, you know, there's not too many street people in the world. And that's just being real. There's not. There's not too many street people in the world that would have that would have not done what he did. You know, most people are talking free the goat. Free the goat. They are they calling six nine the goat. Do you know what the goat mean? The goat is greatest of all time. Jay Z is the greatest of all time. Tupac, greatest of all time. You feel me? Nipsey, greatest of all time. Biggie, greatest of all time. Big Pun, greatest of all time. Big L, greatest of all time. This guy is being called the goat for trolling. And because he was popping. And people really got the goat. This is where we're at now. This is the time and age that we're at. You can be called the goat. Just by entertaining a lot of people. And them wanting to. 
you can be the GOAT. It's not about spitting the hardest bars no more. This is what this is what you this is what people do to be called the GOAT. That just you know, just think about it. You know, this is this is where we at right now with it. This is where we at in the hip hop game. I know it's not right, it's messed up, but what you expect that was gonna happen when you let all these bubblegum rappers in the game. When you let people come into the game that don't got no skills really in bars and freestyling and they get this they get this popping off of social media antics. What you expect was really gonna happen. That's all I'm saying, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I find that anything new, you already know how we do. EMZ gang. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hope y'all like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and drop some comments. Also, for those who want to show love and support to EMZ TV, there's cash apps, PayPal, and Venmo located in the description box in every video. Chosen one, two guns, EMZ. Don't forget the TV. 100.